tempo as well with the red buff sticking in. Ruthless Predator enough. So he can react first. Paranoia coming out as Niski looks for the fight here. And Yoda trying to put the damage down. Picks the buckle up for a little bit of a shield. The fear going down onto Maelstrom as well. Slicing Maelstrom just short. The pillar was perfectly placed. Armor was able to get into the fight. But already Mad Lions have got one kill out of it. Armor chased off with the Chaos Storm. It's going to be two for one in favor of Fnatic. Yeah, that's great stuff for Fnatic. Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? We there wonder. we are. Wonder takes it. As Unforgiven can step forward, Apotheosis up in one second, they go in, Niski's the one to tank it, the fear coming out, Unforgiven actually tanked the tower instead, he has to flash away, but they're gonna get two out of this, Hillisang taken out, flash underneath the tower, Razzle can tank it, Subjugate makes him gold on that mid laner, you can see he's 30 CS oh, down as big. well as Kaiser is caught down towards the bottom side, can't get away, can't remount, Kaiser will be taken down by upset, Unforgiven walks, caught up in the ground field, is stunned, Ruthless Predator can follow it up, double stun is enough, no escape for armor. He went for the sword boots as well for that extra magic damage because he's the only magic damage on his team, and that is biting him. Fnatic are just forcing them away from their turrets. Now they're coming in with a wave. Wonder is around. They can't just continue the siege. Wonder's just going for it. Pops the Dominus caught out with the Steadfast Presence. Is able to dash away, but Niski's behind him. It's going to be a huge shutdown. Who's going to get it on Mad Lions? It's Niski. Give some gold to the Nocturne. See perhaps if he can do something special. Paranoia going forward as Mad Lions look for more. Apotheosis catches on to three. Lucian trying to flash away as Upset is able to escape. The chase continues for Niski, but now he's not got a Yumi on his shoulders. And the Keeper's Verdict only finds one person guilty. Niski tries to turn it back around, but Upset finds the double with a double shot. And that is enough for Fnatic to advance once again. A flash on the back of Niski would have been enough, but a good bubble from Hillisang protects his AD carry. And now Fnatic have their eyes set on another kill as Alyoya drops, the tower drops, and Fnatic walk away the oh, drop from. Niski, the TP is coming in. And Yoya's low though, Paranoia on towards the backline. Humanoid there, that's a slicing Maelstrom as a possibility for Armin. They get onto Humanoid, the final chapter's gonna lock him up in spot as well. One shot down over the Mad Lions, but Niski's gonna pay for it with his life. Wonder as well just came in behind them, just walked around them it seems. No TP burned by him. As Fnatic continue the chase forward, Apotheosis more like an antithesis there for Mad Lions. Fnatic push in with the Rift Hell, it's gonna get another charge and this should be an inhibitor at least. A sub 20 minute inhibitor. The question is, will they look to end the game here? It's still 15 they seconds. They still have four members alive. They still have charge. Shelly alive here. Surely not. Surely not. They're 68 looking at minutes continuing now. Armor, you, armor just order it once. No dancing Shelly for you, but the second Nexus Tower is gonna fall in sub 20 minutes. Fnatic are pounding on the Nexus. An absolute shellacking of demolition. Upset dodging it to the side as much as he can, but the Nexus will fall in 90. Inches away from the Dark and Blade knockup, but gets hit with the secondary. Armor looking for that third, the vital point hit. Wonder taken out for first blood. Now Razor flashing forward. Armor still has the flash of his own, but the pillar once again perfectly placed. Pushing away to the side, but Yoya able to get him with the CC. Wonder puts the hallowed man. Uh, hallow oh. Vantage, but let's find out. I mean, it's Lethal Tempo and Conqueror versus Conqueror and Arcane Comet. Armor already down to about half HP. Wonder dodging to the side. Knock up the one to Razzle, and already he's down. Uh -oh. Just repeat it. <laughs> Wonder locked up once again up towards the top side. Tries to trade onto Armor. Hits six needle work, not enough. Armor self away, Hiller sang low as well. Flash oh, boomerang prediction. Coming out as well, I don't think they knew that Unforgiven and Kaiser were gonna be here. Razzle tries to get away, but this I'm coming out. Unforgiven with a spell shield. Tanking up as much as he can, but it's just not enough. Upset. Now is Razzle now in danger. Has to flash away the chase is on with the cease and desist, and already Razzle is down. Final chapter coming out. Yoyo on the back line, though, taken out in response. Dies to the... Oh, he catches him. Flashes forward with the Q3, and Armored gets the solo kill. Yeah, just pays it. It's up by Eloyo as the bounties come across for Fnatic. Flash Good forward match. in front of a result means it's a counter flash from Eloyo. Subjugate taking needlework going in as well. Not quite! They get it with the Ignite and the Subjugate! And it just feels like Mad is in this position where they know they don't want to throw it away, right? We've seen yep. it so many times where they just started to get over-aggressive, but this time around... The Duster and yeah, that was a better <laughs> Duster. <laughs> How are you doing? The Duster. Oh, they found Razzle. to tickle Razzle a little bit in the mid lane. Remember, no flash on that Trundle, but the Subjugate does come down. Culling used as well. Tied away. Cease and desist onto the backline. Mad Lions trying to collapse onto this Wonder, not with the team right now. Razzle able to get away, but the Charm hits onto him. However, the turnaround. Fnatic on the side. The shutdown going down onto Armour. Can follow up. That could have just been the Baron now. No benches there, no way away. One last auto Big. shut down for upset. The only way man lose this game Baron. is by making silly mistakes. In control of the top side jungle. Armut looking for a little bit more. That's the a hit onto Razzle. He does still have the flash, but he's got nowhere to go. He's rooted for the entirety of his lifespan. Next up is Wonder. No way for him to get up and Mad Lions pick up two. Oh. Another charm. Oh my god, Niski, that was beautiful. Upset and Hillisang retreating, trying to get back to their founding, trying to get back to some semblance of hope, but Hillisang will not escape. Oh. Uh, they are going to burst it down in time, but Razzle did have that flash. He did have Smite if he could make it in time. That's not going to be the case. 
support, so it's not going to be an issue. Mad Lions, they won the fight, they get the Baron, and now they'll finally, after long-awaited time, pick up that Infernal Soul. It's Tower of the Push TP coming in by Armut, as he wants to make sure that this turret does fall, and it will. Fnatic very much on the back foot. Humanoid trying to put some damage down, but only breaks the Banshees on Niski. First inhibitor down of the game, first inhibitor of the series for Mad Lions, and followed up quite shortly by the second as Mad Lions look to close this one out. And just like that, Humanoid did pick up the Rapid and Death Cap, but I don't think that's going to be enough when you're playing up against these Baron up minions. The siege continues, and the Tidal Wave starts it out for Fnatic, but it doesn't amount to much as the Minion Waves comes Watch in towards Niski, these Nexus Towers. Charms are so lethal this late into the game. Armut stepping forward, lands the Infernal Chains, first Nexus Tower does fall, double cannon minions still pushing in, not even the supers yet, four mad lines, 30 seconds left on the Baron, they're looking to continue this push, continue their advance towards their first win of playoffs. Oh, the sorry, damage no, they, from they, they won against Rogue, obviously. Uh, but yeah, they will be able to take that second Nexus Tower, mad lines looking to even out this series, Subject 8 going down onto Armut, but he still has the GA, Niski on the back line, shut down, but mad lines can just focus this back, the heal coming out, he's dead! based on the number of minions. Oh, good flash. Mads are flashing in, looking for CC on Kaiser. They get it, they lock him down with a stun and the final spear will be enough. Kaiser falls for the second time. This good, Humanoid now making his way down, will be spotted on the control ward, but it looks like Mad can't stop it. Got that Petrifying Gaze stolen away, TP coming in, the handshake's gonna pull Humanoid back, doesn't have the flash, remember here, Petrifying Gaze dodged by Unforgiven, and Humanoid now is in for a world of her armor there in time, and Armut takes the kill. Armut. Does use that Dominus, trying to get the damage down onto Razzlox, CC'd up for an age, but the rest of Mad Lions on their way, Niski with the Twin Fangs, Fate's cool. Gonna pull back, Hillasan keeps him alive, TP. Look for the Brittle now. pushing them back. Pushing back, Dominus coming out, Petrifying Gaze wide though there by Niski, and now he's caught Made in the midst of Humanoid. Niski though with a bailout, Humanoid just falls after it. No bailout there for Niski. Cassiopeia. Have the damage needed. What Flash from upset. Fate's cool. They're just looking to dive unforgiven under the tower, and they're doing exactly that. Very clean. Oh, oh really? caught out with a glacial fissure. Flash in by Hillasang as they look at the concussive blows, and Kaiser has nowhere to go. Humanoid. OTP available for Fnatic Wonder, trying to do what he can against Armut. Call of the Forge God coming out as well. He'll try and clear out the way, but he's rooted up with the handshake from Kaiser. Tower falls. Cyclone goes down, and Wonder calling on a Forge God. You feel he's praying to anyone that can listen. Looks like TP Fnatic behind. is actually looking to contest. Armut no, it's Armut flank. over the engagement. Glacial Prism used, but Armut's now going to be caught out. Right? You can always just pop it with that from long range. No flash on Niski. There's oh, the Banshees down. Humanoid clearing out this control ward down towards the bottom side. There's the call of the Forge God. Razzle going in with the Glacial Prism as well, but a great hostile takeover. Then stolen away. Humanoid down towards the bottom side, fighting against four members of Mad. Unforgiven in the midst of it all as Armut has to flash away, but he will fall. Elio looking for Humanoid. Razzle still chasing into Niski. Niski has to cleanse the Petrifying Gaze. Not enough. The cleanse not enough. And upset starts to shred through them. That's two. Elio falls. Fnatic. Are completed and Matt Lines are around, right but no jungle as you're saying. Let's see Infernum. how this goes. Infernum? No, Wonder takes it. That's the Baron over to Fnatic. 25. He called now. They're looking to try and join the fight. Hostile takeover going in. El Yoya able to dodge to the side of it. The Zerg on the right is a lot of damage. The Baron down to 4,000. Fnatic have been able to keep it aggroed. El Yoya doesn't really have a way into the pit because he's got no flash and he's got no health and he's got really nothing here at all. Hostile takeover coming out. I was able to dodge to the side of it. Petrifying Gaze only going to hit onto one. They're going to try and take down Razzle. He flashes, but he dies to the poison. Cyanide in his veins. Niski looking for it. Petrifying Gaze in by Humanoid though. And that's one. Niski trying to do what he can, but he just can't do enough. Unforgiven low as well. And Fnatic and Humanoid find everything they want out of the fight. The triple kill. The stellar performance in the team fight. They may have lost Razork, but the front line did not die. And as you say, Medic, Fnatic is looking to go 2 1 up in this series and looking to bring us to match point. It was close until it wasn't. For a while, there was hope on Niski, a lot of weight on his shoulders, but Fnatic relieved him of it. Oh, relieved him of it very quickly. One game away from Malmo. Fnatic make it 2 and 1. Here we are, Unforgiven now getting dived by Razor. TP coming out immediately from Niski. The dive is on, but the barrier available for Unforgiven. It survives as long as he can, but so a little bit. No one taking the tower right now. Razor can step forward. Niski with the stun card. They're waiting, they're waiting. Razor didn't tank when he took the stun card. That three, Razor will die in the end. And Leoya is here. Dives onto Hillisand, but can't do too much. By Az Armour looks for the flash forward. World Ender coming out as well. Oh, oh clutch! Oh, Razor! Oh, what a play by Razor! With the zoom, he's hit a tank very low. Razork here in time has to subjugate, puts it down, takes the tower, and that is another one over to upset. Make it two as he slays the cat afterward. They will try and stop it. Razork trying no to come flash in from the side as well. No flash on Niski. They're just going to let the Riftail charge forward. Stun card locked. Niski trying to get away, but you just can't escape 
The Unforgiven able to spell shielded up. Razzle exhausted, but he's still very healthy as Alyoya joins the fray. Unforgiven, Razzle just turns it back into him. The Destiny coming out, and that might be a little bit too deep from Razzle. He will get shut down. Niski takes him. I'll say dodging to the side as well. The Cullen coming out, but Alyoya tanking that for days as he gets his first kill of the game. Highlight for Razzle in particular, just because of how involved he is with the kills. And right now, he's going to involve himself in some more. Tidal wave coming in from the backside. The stun's going to land onto Niski, and he's already down. Upset looking for Unforgiven as well, and he wins that 1v1. A two level advantage to the Gale Force forward is enough. Alyoya trying to do what he can. Kaiser do dodging in and out, armor forced away. The Rift Hell charge can come in, but perhaps Fnatic are looking to beat their own record from earlier in the day. Armor healed up just a little bit. Rift Hell charges in once again. This will be the inhibitor tower down. The inhibitor next on the menu. If it looks but right now, they are just retreating, just foregoing their towers as Fnatic raise them to the ground. Colin coming out, Niski. Flashes away, pops the stopwatch, but in the gravity field with a tidal wave on his way, that tsunami finds his mark. Razzle trading its four up towards the top side. Wanda trying to come in from the side as well as Razzle will go down. Alioya takes him. The chase is on, and Hiller saying as the sonic wave is flashed away from upset, though, still has a lot of damage here. And Wonder has the flank position. Needlework going in, only lands onto one. He only has one item so far. And Wonder actually may have overstayed his welcome a little bit as Mad Lions try and collapse. The infernal chains lands. Wonder not pull back, dodges the sonic wave as well somehow. Darking blade from Armadas. Upset now, the one to advance to step forward. For Fnatic, but the healing and the shielding from the Yumi is just too much for Fnatic to deal with. Alyura on the longest flank doesn't have the kick, doesn't have that Dragon's Rage. Still lands, the, uh, tries to land the Sonic Wave. Kaiser going in, the shutdown going down as the victors taken out of the fight. Wonder next on the menu as the Sonic Wave hits once again. The TP coming in as Niski tries to join this fray. Upset trying to get away as well, and he is dominating. Another Sonic Wave from Alyura, but instead they'll just take out Hillisang. Alyura dies underneath the tower. They're looking for Upset as well with the Destiny coming in, and Upset will fall. The shutdown to Niski, and what a fight this is for Mad Lions. Wonder survives, he takes down one, but Mad Lions found exactly what they needed. And just while that, they finally pick up the team fight. Yes, he puts the Everfrost down. Gold card comes in, lands a stun, stun in the hallowed mist. Sonic wave onto humanoid as well. You have to look to see where Elioia can get up to the back line, but immediately Mad Lions are split off the two fronts. Blast cone away, Elioia can dash across the wall as well. But there's a tower here. They might just have to tank it up. Mad Lions are going to do exactly that as Razzle and Humanoid coming in from the side. Upset! Oh, almost got the damage down. They turn it back around on the Humanoid armor. Has a Kaiser on his shoulders and Humanoid is down as Unforgiven takes the kill. Razzle next on the menu. And once again, Fnatic overstep. Fnatic overstay. And Mad Lions pounce. They're looking to continue the dive. The stun lands on the upset and he will drop. The cleanse is just not enough. Four more kills to Matt. Razzle's on the try, but he might right. the cake as he could blast Cone in here. They're looking for it. Razzle flashes in. It's secured by Elioia. Humanoid now. Hex getting behind them as Razzle should be the first to fall in this fight. He's somehow surviving with the Sunshine Gate with the tidal wave. And Humanoid's on the back line. The Chaos Storm. A storm, a tempest for Mad Lions. They're locked in the pit. And Humanoid has locked them in there with him. Elioia trying to trade on to Humanoid. Trying to do what he can, but he just can't do enough. The Hex Gate won't save him. Only Niski survives as Fnatic route them in the river. Looks like Wonder's gonna back and then TP back if he needs, but already they've caught out oh. Razzle. Final chapter coming out. Subjugate the heels though. Armor very low already. He's pulled the world ender as Unforgiven. As Upset looks for the backline exhausted. Upset. Unforgiven Upset just takes him out. Niski next on the menu for Upset, and he will not be denied his spot in Malmo. Upset finds two. He's looking for three. Elioia slowed the TP in behind them as well as Humano looks to cut them off. It's Wonder, in fact, Armor forced up to the top side. Wonder's gonna chase Elioia down towards the bottom side. Armor trying to do what he can with the Darking Blade. But he just doesn't have the healing. He doesn't have enough. Kaiser locked up. Fnatic clean him up. Only Elioia stands. The Quadra is delayed, but it is a Quadra nonetheless. Upset in the final moments once again. Comes up massive. He has the Nexus in his eyes, and he is looking to secure Fnatic top three in the LEC. 20 playoffs and 12 finals. Fnatic don't want to stop there. They're looking for number 30.